Welcome to Dr. Sonar Training. Let's talk about understanding the lake bottom. The combination of weeds and rocks often produce fish. I like areas that have lots of structure and cover because they just hold more fish. This video was captured with an AquaView camera. Now finding fish in, in the weeds and the rocks can be tough since fish close to them they don't show up. This image is 5.7 miles an hour and the weeds are pointed. Notice the rock pile when you slow down. The weeds are now under the transducer longer so they flatten out. This is the same principle for fish under the boat. Notice fish arches are longer on the right side because the boat is moving slower. On the left side they're shorter because the boat is moving faster. The same principle applies to weeds or rocks on the bottom. Down imaging helps since it has better resolution. At 5.6 miles an hour, the rock pile is pointed and the weeds are thin. When I slow down to 0 0.4 miles an hour, the weeds look thicker since they're under the transducer longer. It's the same principle as the fish arches and boat speed. If you're wondering about the map, it's an auto chart live that I use on my Hummingbird Helix. I use it to improve the background map as I search for fish and structure. I just leave it running all the time. Usually when I look at weeds and rocks with the AquaView, I see bait and fish. This video was done late fall and it seems like everything has vacated the weeds. However, there is one hidden walleye, if you look close. Notice the white spot on the tail. That's the way you identify walleyes. Now walleyes that are laying on the bottom, or any fish, are inactive and they're going to be very difficult to catch. I rarely see them laying on the bottom. They're usually swimming around like this video. But most important, use your sonar, down imaging, and your aqua view to help understand the lake bottom so that you can catch more fish. And remember, to go fishing, the clock is ticking.